All right, so this new AI tool just dropped, and honestly, it's kind of blowing my mind right now. We're talking about Long Cat Video Avatar, and this thing is absolutely crushing it in the deepfake and audio-driven animation space. In their human evaluation tests, this model scored 3.43 out of 5, beating literally everything else out there. Hey Gen, Kling Avatar 2.0, Hedra, Infinite Talk, all of them. It's an audio-driven avatar system, which means you feed it audio, optionally throw in a text prompt and an image, and it generates these incredibly realistic talking videos. And here's the kicker. You don't even need to provide an image. You can just give it audio and a text prompt, and it'll still generate impressive results. This is built on top of the long cat video model that I covered a while back, and they've now taken it to a whole new level with this avatar-specific version. So let's dive into some examples, because this is where things get really interesting. Check out this first video on your screen. It was generated with an image, audio, and a text prompt. Now look at this clip carefully. <laughs> this is pure laughter. No actual speech, just the sound of someone cracking up. The expressions, the natural flow of laughter, everything is captured perfectly. This is something that trips up most other models because they tend to rely too heavily on speech signals. So when there's no talking, the video just goes static. But Long Cat Avatar handles it beautifully. Now, here's one where no image was provided at all, just audio and a text prompt at the bottom. The audio here is quite emotional, and watch how the model visualizes that intensity. I've been standing with you! I gave 18 years of my life to stand in the same spot as you! The facial expressions match the tone of the audio perfectly. It's not just lip-syncing, it's actually conveying the emotion in the voice. That's pretty remarkable when you think about it, because it's understanding the context and mood, not just matching mouth movements to sound. Check out this next one with a normal speech audio and a reference image. First time I went, I went with a film, an Australian film that was in the marketplace. So I got in to see The Ice Storm and I'd, bar I'd borrowed a frock. It was an ex it's such an extraordinary film. The lip sync is absolutely spot on. And what I really love here is how the expressions align with the tone and quality of the audio. And now look at this two-person example where one person is facing the camera and the other has their back to us. This was generated from an image, and the dialogue is sad with melancholic background music. Watch how the model interprets this sadness in the body language and expressions. Isn't that water? I made a deal with God. I told him I was sorry. I told him I knew I'd been a fool for leaving you, trying to go over there and be a hero. And I promised I'd never ask for anything again. If I could just see you one more time. You know what? <laughs> and here's the female part of that same dialogue. I didn't even know until the day you turned up alive. And then all this happened. I haven't told Danny. Just stunning how it maintains consistency and emotional depth across both characters. All right. This next example is wild. The audio input has extremely intense expressions and the model just nails it. Listen to this. I'm talking about... Have you ever had a single moment's thought about my responsibilities? Have you ever thought for a single solitary moment about my responsibilities to my employers? See what I mean? The intensity in that audio is perfectly captured in the facial performance. It's not holding back at all. Now let me show you some singing examples, and I might have to mute some of these for copyright reasons, but trust me, the performance is excellent. So look at this cartoonish owl character. Lip syncing on a cartoon is actually really difficult. Behind, you drop the ball, catch your breath. Audio has vocals, instruments, everything mixed together. But notice how intelligently this model handles it. It only lip syncs to the actual singing, not to the instrumental parts. When the lyrics stop and it's just music playing, the character pauses. When a third voice comes in, it turns its attention toward that voice. 
This level of intelligence is seriously impressive and quite rare in these kinds of tools. This next one was generated without any reference image, just a text prompt and a song. Check out the lip sync quality throughout. We scream our truth with the words unsaid. Oh, 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 oh. Hands in the air. Oh, 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 oh. No time to pretend. If this is the end, <laughs> we jump again. <laughs> no fall far from the can. In some frames, the lips are visible. In others, the microphone comes in front. But the overall body gestures and expressions are completely in sync with the music vibe. Here's another one. No image provided, just an audio file of someone singing and a prompt you can see on screen. Drips of sneakers warm, stories made in every corner we home. Just a front you are, Grace. No who said it, just hearts that grace. Every heartbeat keeping up the vibe. But I come in, barefoot on grass, toes in the stream. Singing our secrets like it's all a dream. Spray of water, sparkling in the golden light. Hands held high, nothing feels too bright. Just on the spring. The character is playing the guitar really naturally, the lip syncing to the mic is clean, and the whole vibe just works. This was actually a pretty long video with multiple verses, and it lip synced every single part correctly. And look at this last singing one. An image, audio, and a prompt were given. The mood of this song is slower and more mellow, so notice how the guitar playing is gentler compared to the energetic example. The model understands the emotional context and adjusts the performance accordingly, which shows genuine intelligence. I'm also showing you these 3D cartoon character examples where it's doing lip sync on a pig, a bull, and a tiny alien sitting on someone's finger. I can't play the audio because of copyright, but visually you can see the video quality is fantastic even on these non-human stylized characters. I'll throw up the link in the description so you can check out the audio yourself. Now let's move to some podcast examples. Here's a clip from a female podcast where an image and audio were combined. Um, like with my albums, I love to kind of, you know, sh showcase sort of like aspects of my personality that are in the extreme, right? Yeah. Like Torture Poets Department, my last album was really highlighting the facets of me that are like a, a writer that's like earnest and stoic and raw and sort of like the sprawling part of it where the part of me that wants to just be like, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna write everything and give you, give you everything I wrote, raw. right? Raw and like pain and just excruciating um, detail. <laughs> Look at how the whole body is moving naturally, and when there's a pause or someone else starts speaking, it visualizes that perfectly. Even light laughter in the dialogue is animated properly with subtle expressions. And here's another podcast example. These are quite long videos, so I'm just showing you portions. So free skiing is, you're on skis, um, and the skis look a little bit different from race skis or your typical rental skis because they are twin tips. So the front goes up and the back also goes up. So that allows you to ski switch or backwards. Um, and you'll need to ski backwards because the whole discipline surrounds. Notice the natural body movement, hand gestures, and especially the eyes. This is huge because in almost every previous lip sync or avatar tool I've covered, the eyes always looked off. But with Long Cat Avatar, the eyes look natural. It genuinely feels like you're watching real footage, not AI-generated content. Now let me show you some commercial and advertisement examples. Here's one with a woman and packets of chips, combining audio and visuals. Listen to this. 
Wow, this mallow flavor is seriously irresistible. Look how this chip is completely coated in seasoning powder. It is super crispy with every bite. Cuddling up with this big bag while binge watching shows, you really can't stop. Look at this skincare ad. There's a bottle of drops in front of her, and not only is she lip syncing, but she's physically applying the drops to her face during the video. Is your skin thirsty? Meet the glow drop infused with pure vitamin C and hyaluronic acid. Just two drops every morning gives you that eight hours of sleep look. Instantly, it's deep hydration that feels like magic, not chemicals. The model animated that interaction intelligently. It's genuinely well done. And check out this travel app advertisement. When was the last time you felt truly free? With EasyTrip, your dream vacation is closer than you think. We compare thousands of flights and hotels to find you the lowest prices guaranteed. Don't just dream about paradise. Open the app and book your perfect escape now. At the end, she brings her phone into frame and the app literally appears on the screen as she's talking about it. There was no phone in the original reference image. The model generated that phone and the app interface as part of the animation based on what the audio was describing. That's seriously next level stuff. Now, I've shown you a bunch of single-person examples, but the multi-person lip-sync is equally impressive. Check out this video with two people. Welcome back to the Deep Dive. So if you're like me, you've been uh, pretty much mesmerized by this explosion of text-to-video tools we've been seeing. Oh, absolutely. But today, we are going way beyond just those short, flashy clips. We're going to unpack the foundational model they could be behind the next generation of all of this. When the male voice speaks, the guy lip syncs to it. And as soon as the female voice comes in, she lip syncs to hers. Both of them are looking at the phone while talking, which makes total sense contextually. And the model figured that out on its own. I did notice very minor issues here and there in two person scenes, but overall it's quite acceptable. And importantly, the eyes still look natural. Here's another multi-person one, a child and his mother singing a duet. The child lip syncs to his part first, then the mother joins in, and when both are singing together, both of them lip sync simultaneously. The coordination is impressive. Okay, this next one is absolutely insane. This video you're seeing on screen is five minutes long, generated from just one image, audio, and a prompt. Five full minutes. Let me show you the beginning first. When we think about the most meaningful jobs in the world, Firefighters are among the top of the list, right? Well, quality looks solid, right? Now let me jump to the 2.5 to 3 minute mark. I'm a journalist, and for the past six years, I've interviewed hundreds of people around the world, like Greg, asking them a question. Do you feel like you matter? For too many, the answer was no. Even at the midpoint, the lip sync is still perfect. No degradation, no drift. And now the end portion, around five minutes. That talked about how the piece being made fit into the final product. On that card was a photo and a story of the person who would one day use it. As you just saw, the quality at the end is exactly the same as the beginning. Any minor flaws that were there at the start are still there, but nothing got worse. This is a massive deal for long duration generation because most models completely fall apart after 30 seconds. Now let me show you some direct comparisons with competitors. On the left is Infinite Talk, which is its main open source competitor, and on the right is Longcat Avatar. I'm playing both at the same time so you can see the difference. I've been standing with you! I gave 18 years of my life to stand in the same spot as you. The audio provided is very intense with a lot of emotional expression. Infinite Talk's version is pretty flat. The facial expressions don't really match the intensity of the audio. But Long Cat Avatar's version? The expressions are right there, fully matching the emotion in the voice. It's a clear improvement. Here's another comparison with a male character. California's 5th Congressional District and I'm a member of the House Committee on Ways and Means, the Tax Writing Committee. This week, Republicans continued to push their tax bill that would devastate middle class and working Americans. Again, huge difference. Longcat's version is way more expressive and natural, while Infinite Talk feels a bit AI-generated with expressions that don't quite sync up with the audio emotion. And one more comparison, same song, both models. I can't play it due to copyright, but just looking at the visuals, Long Cat's expressions are significantly better. Infinite Talk has some expression, but it's not nearly as dynamic or believable.
So how does this thing actually work under the hood? Let me break down the technology in a simple way. Longcat Avatar is built on a Diffusion Transformer Architecture, or DIT for short, which is basically the cutting-edge approach for video generation right now. It uses a 3D variational auto-encoder to compress video data, and then the DIT blocks process that compressed data using self-attention, text cross-attention, and feed-forward networks. To handle audio, they added special audio cross-attention layers that use Wave to VEC, which is a popular audio feature extractor. This allows the model to understand audio at a frame level and match it precisely to lip movements. One of the biggest innovations here is something called Disentangled Unconditional Guidance, which basically separates speech signals from general motion dynamics. This is why the model can generate natural movement even when there's no speech, like in that laughter example or with background music. Most other models freeze up when there's no talking because they over-rely on speech to drive all motion, but Longcat Avatar doesn't have that problem. Another key technique is reference skip attention, which prevents the copy-paste artifact that you see in other models like Infinite Talk. When you inject a reference image to preserve identity during long videos, some models just copy the exact pose over and over, which looks super robotic. Reference skip attention balances identity preservation with natural motion variation, so you don't get that repetitive effect. And finally, there's cross-chunk latent stitching, which is how they handle long video generation without quality degradation. Normally, when generating a long video in chunks, you have to decode and re-encode between chunks, which introduces errors that accumulate over time. This technique eliminates those redundant encoding cycles and keeps everything in the latent space, which is why that 5-minute video I showed you maintained consistent quality from start to finish. Now, let's talk about availability, because I know that's what you're all wondering. The code has been released, and it's up on their GitHub repository right now. I checked it recently, and they just dropped the model weights and everything for Longcat Video Avatar. The full model is pretty hefty. The total repository size on Hugging Face is 129 gigabytes. About half of that is for the multi-character model, and the single avatar model is 63.5 gigs. So yeah, you're not running the full fat version on a consumer GPU. But here's the good news. They released quantized versions. The FP16 and BF16 versions are about 27 gigabytes, which means they'll work on a 24 gigabyte VRAM setup. So the bottom line is, yes, you can absolutely run this on consumer hardware with 24 gigabytes of VRAM, which is pretty accessible for most of you watching this. I'm gonna drop all the links in the description. If you found this video helpful and you're as excited about this tool as I am, make sure you hit that like button and drop a comment letting me know what you think. I'll catch you in the next one.